Your token metadata is critical to your NFT and defines everything from the attributes of an NFT to creators, royalty, collection, symbol, even the image source. So how do we look this up correctly? Before we get lost in code, let's take a second to define metadata a little bit better. Simply put, metadata can be any data that's attached to your non-fungible token address. But we're going to focus on standard data formats. And for Solana NFTs, the standard format is defined in Metaplex documents as the non-fungible standard here. And this is going to be what is used in Candy Machine when you're creating NFTs. So this is a good format to know. The metadata on each NFT should look something like this. It should have fields for a name, a symbol, description, image. That's a link to wherever your image is stored. Potentially URLs, attributes, various types. Could be many different attributes. But at the end of the day, your NFT metadata should look something like this in code form. So how do we look up the data in this format for a given NFT? So this is the basic methodology from the Metaplex docs. You're going to use the Metaplex library and the NFT mint address. And I've just got a simple function here to uh, pull to log so that NFT data using the mint address. We're going to get the token metadata public key, which is different from the mint address. And then we're going to load the uh, metadata response here from Metaplex. So I'll run this real fast and show you what it looks like. So running, I've got the mint address I'm looking up here, which is some OK Bears collection item number, and it comes out looking something like this. So wait, this is a little bit messy. This is a little bit, you know, we've got public key information, land ports, various update authority. But you might be saying, I don't see any attributes in this. So how do we get to the NFT attributes? the description and the other metadata that we're missing. Well, what we're looking for is at this URI address. So what we're going to do to get this is we're going to add, we're going to add some, in, some code in here. We want to use Axios, is what I'd recommend doing. And we're going to add a line of code here to um, basically pull the information. We're going to remove this console.log and we want to pull the information from the URI address. So we're going to do this const data equals await axios.get response. That's from this variable here, data dot data dot URI, which is just drilling down to the address we want to use here. Now we're going to console log that. All right, so I cleared the console here and we're going to run this again and see what we get. Boom, there we go. So that's more what we expected. So we've got the name symbol, description, the image URL right there, the attributes all there. So this is all the information, you know, that we really want to use a lot of times in, in our applications. So if you're, whether you're interested in building applications or you just want to look up the exact metadata that is on your NFT or associated with your NFT, you know, you can use this. I'm going to copy all this code directly into the description so that you can use it as you see fit. So I hope this helped with learning a little bit more about the NFT metadata and how to navigate through it. If there's more you want to learn about, post it in the comments or find me on the Space Visa Discord and we will have a look at it.